Good afternoon. This is Chef Rich from Hilton. And welcome back. A ham One quiche. of the things that I'm doing today, so I'm going to do leftover a ham for Easter. You can use this. I'm going to throw some asparagus in there. Some so smoked cheddar. Some leftover ham from Easter. You can use this. I'm going to throw some asparagus in there. Some smoked cheddar. And a few other ingredients. So join me. So you have it. I have some smoked cheddar, some eggs, some ham, some asparagus that I diced up and also diced up the ham and I got some diced onions and I've got milk and I use fat free milk, I have a little salt and pepper and of course I have the puff pastry dough that I'm making instead of pie dough. Instead of pie dough I'm using the puff pastry sheets. So it's going to be hopefully a little bit flakier. So there you go. And I, I'm going to make in small individual pins, like here. What I did, I rolled on the dough a little bit, thinned it down a little bit. I want to put the pin on top of it, I'm going to cut around it uh, so I can have the right size. So, as, as you can see, I cut the dough around the pan. Now I'm going to grease the pan and I'm going to put the dough inside of the pan. I'm going to saute the onions in a little bit of oil. And as you can see, I greased the pins and I'm going to put the dough on. I added the asparagus to it. And about, I'm going to saute the asparagus for about a minute. After I add the asparagus, I'm going to throw the diced ham in. Since the diced the ham is already cooked, I'm going to heat it up. As you can see, Added the ham to it, but I got all the onions, the spreads, and the ham. So it's a little bit, just for you know, 30 seconds. And that's what the dough looks like inside the pan. After I put the dough into the pan, I fill the pan up with beans because if I want to pre-cook the dough. If I don't put any beans in it, the dough will collapse before I put the the ingredients inside. So I'm gonna cook it a little bit until it gets nice and golden brown. So I'm gonna pre-cook the pie crust. For the custard, I combine, I add four eggs, uh, about a cup of milk, and a pinch of nutmeg, and a pinch of salt and pepper. This is what the dough looked like when I came out of the oven. I came out of the oven, I pulled the beans out, and I'll put the ingredients in there. I'm going to put the cheese, a shredded smoked cheddar, and the custard, and I'm, but then I'll put them in the other. Okay, after I added the uh, ham and the asparagus and onions to the pan, I topped it with the smoked cheddar, shredded. You don't have to use smoked if you just get regular cheddar cheese, you can use it all. I like cheddar in mine. I, mean, I like the smoked cheddar because I think the smoke inside the ham and the and the cheddar uh, will be good, but if you just have plain sharp cheddar cheese, go ahead and just use plain sharp cheddar cheese. After this, I'm gonna add the custard to it. After all that, I'm gonna put it in a 325 degree oven for probably about 15, 15 minutes. While the quiche are baking in the oven, think a few other things you can do with the, pie dough, with the puff pastry dough. I'm um, gonna make some Portuguese the desserts tomorrow, pastéis de nata and you can do a kind of Also, if you don't want to use puff dough for your, for your quiche, you can use the regular flour dough. It's three parts flour, two parts shortening or butter, and one parts water. So three, two, one recipe you can use. You just have to roll it. It's like a typical pie dough. Or you can just buy your own pre-done pie shell and do it in a pie, pie shell that can feed about six to eight people. So as soon as it comes out of the oven, I'll show it. Otherwise, have a good day. And this is the final product. It took about 20 minutes in the oven and a nice nice color on the top. And one thing you have to be careful is don't overcook them and don't burn them. So you gotta keep an eye on them as they, as they cook. Like I said earlier, if you wanna use a different kind of dough instead of puff pastry dough, and if you don't wanna have to pre-bake the shell, you know, it, the only thing is it will not come out as, as crispy, it might get a little soggy on the, on the bottom, uh, it's up to you. You can just do the dough, put the dough in a pan, put all the ingredients in there and bake it in the oven and uh, and then it should be okay. For a quick trick, if it isn't crispy on the bottom, just put it on top of the uh, burner, on top of the, uh, the oven, uh, actually on top of the stove and the burners and it will crisp up the bottom if it's not crispy enough.
but try it, enjoy it, and I'll see you soon.